So, um, good morning, everyone. It's the Art and Craft module. We are just uh, revising for the mid semester exam. Um, we're just going through the course outline, looking at what we've covered, and doing the revision based on what we've covered. In preparation of um, the exam, the exam has got six questions. You are required to answer five questions out of the six questions. The questions are essay based. There is only one question out of the six that is broken down into four parts of five questions each. Um, the rest are essay form and um, there are 20 marks each. So, in total, the exam is going to be 100. So, what you need to simply do is uh, in this particular lecture, we are going to look at exam techniques and then also possible questions that may be asked in the exam and also look at the, the, the box essay plan. But I taught this group before, I taught you the box plan before, right? How to write essay. So we're going to do the presentation in the box essay plan. Um, and then I'm just going to uh, correct you here like that. So the first thing you're supposed to do when you're ready for exam, um, the exam is going to be three hours. So you need to divide the three hours into five questions. So therefore, each question, you should only spend 36 minutes. And out of that 36 minutes, try and allocate at least six minutes or three minutes for your planning of the essay before you start writing the essay. So you plan your essay through writing five to eight points that are required for that particular essay. And then the other three, three minutes, uh, try and leave them for reading the, 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 um, the essay. Okay, so the other best way of doing it, I know most students have complained about it and said we don't have time to um, read through the essay. What I would suggest is to, as you're writing, after every paragraph, just read through the paragraph. So you do a move with you, check as you're going on. As you're writing. Um, and then also with each question, I would really like you to underline the most key important ones, look at the concepts, the most important ones, uh, try and analyze the question in terms of what the question might be required you need to do so that you can uh, write intensively, you can write according to the mark allocation, you can also give relevant uh, points to the question and it will also guide you and lead you uh, to ensure that no irrelevant points are given. And also, it will also be able to be a good opportunity for you to see which, which points you are good at or you know well and which ones are going to increase in your essay. So that's basically the way to answer the question. And then also, the other thing I also wanted to mention is um, if you could, within your questions, you don't need to write them according to the way they appear on the question paper as well as you can indicate the question. So for example, you might, out of the six questions, uh, question six might be your best um, essay that you want to answer, so you would start it off. So when you're in the exam, you start off with the best question that you have most on the job, that you know you get the highest mark out of all the five questions. Um, what you just simply need to do is you just need to indicate the question, so it's question six, and then in summary, just indicate the, the question itself. So, for example, if a question says identify uh, or classify the resource materials uh, according to the Western classification, you then, uh, what you then need to do is to then just summarize the question. So, it's classification of resource materials. So, it's question six, and then just uh, not rewriting the whole set, the whole question, but the main uh, concepts. Within the question, within the question, I understand this. And then, then you write the mark allocation in brackets. Okay, so you put marks. Just in case that the person is marking your work, does not get the uh, script, uh, does not get the question paper, and also adds a marking. Uh, it will also be an indication for you on how much you should write. So you're making reference back to the question as you're writing, making reference back to the mark allocation as you're writing. That is why it is very important to indicate the question, indicate the, uh, the, the question itself, and 
master that particular question. Okay? Is it clear? Yes. So, let's do the box plan essay. Okay? Structure. And then we'll do the questions that are open to the class. So, box essay plan. Okay? I done it with you because you wrote exams last year, right? Yes. Can someone come and do it for us? Yes. Come and do the box essay plan. I've given it to you, right? I've given it to you before. Yes, how to write an essay. In a, in a box plan example, but you're supposed to write in continuous writing. Okay? How do you structure the essay? Can you come and write it? Because I have explained it to you before, last semester. <laughs> It's not even breaking in my mind. Okay, how many parts are you missing? Can you come and write? Huh? Can I do that? Yes, can you come and write? <laughs> how much did you get into that? I think I remember what you said. Yes. <laughs> because you, I think you might have been with the top. Second time, third time? Third. Third time, yes. So I, I've actually explained it to you before. Mm -hmm. First, the introduction. And then we have the second one. Mm -hmm. And then we have the board one. And then we have the component one. Yes, all that. Okay. And what do we do to the first introduction and the second introduction? <laughs> but I'm still, I'm very glad that you remember. <laughs> And I will also be doing to get how many how many times it's supposed to be in the uh, okay on this one I think it's three yes or four not three are you going to find this one yeah three five even one line is fine it depends on your hand writing as well so it is three five yes so this one we can go with one two three yes and it's fine uh here we go. We have five, okay, four, five, eight, nine. I think it should be longer than that at the main body. So I think it's rated maybe to eight lines or about 15 lines. That's the paragraph. So eight to 16 lines. 16 lines, 20 lines per time. So we can go to, this is a movement. Yes. Um, Three to six lines. Okay. Bear in mind also that uh, it needs to always be shorter than the main body. The target is just to make sure that when it's the introduction to the conclusion, uh, both should be at least uh, shorter than the main body. Yes. So, <clears throat> what do we write in our first introduction? In the first introduction, uh, we're just looking, we're just explaining, we're just like we're explaining on the topic of beekeeping. Maybe it's concerning visual arts in the future. So, <laughs> it has to be mentioned or on this explain or elements of art. Yeah, elements of art. So, so we can, we can just, what are the elements of art? In the first introduction, just like explain what uh, uh, elements without missing them. No? Okay, that's the second or first time. Okay, you can, with the first introduction or the second introduction, it doesn't really matter which one comes first or not. The first, the first introduction with your position, okay? If the question says describe elements of art, okay? You need to tell us what you're going to do. Make reference to the question, okay? So in the current essay, uh, and, uh, and, an in-depth description of elements of art is going to happen. Okay? What are you doing? And also your position. Okay, so it might you might be asked to critique uh, a piece of art. Okay? In the following essay, I, I am going to critique, uh, I'm going to use an, um, a number of aspects to critique a piece of art. Okay? Or if you're asked to uh, comment maybe on on uh, I'm trying to Maybe visual arts, maybe discuss, discuss, the, uh, discuss uh, 
stages of drawing or something like that. Then you are going to look at it, or we can say, for example, uh, compare and contrast maybe with a different type of uh, art. Okay, so in this following essay, I'm going to compare and contrast uh, two different types of art, and I can bring materials you're going to ask to draw. So please bring materials, two, three different materials, chalk, crayons, markers, please. Okay. Well, there's a question. Yes, there's a question in all of this. Okay? So, and so with positions, you're either neutral, balanced, that means you're either here or over there. Um, there is strongly agree or strongly disagree or partially agree or, or, uh, or just uh, an observer who will just analyze it and give it an overall outline. Of, of your question, okay? That is what I mean by position. Okay. But make reference to the question in order to determine what position you are. Is it clear? No. Yes. Position of the right. Based on the question. Okay. So make reference to the question. And based on the question and based on your own information, how much information do you have? If you strongly agree, you have more points on you, you strongly agree, then you should state where the position that you have more points on because you have been marked before. Bear in mind that I always say that it's an essay that you have these five points on you. Okay? Not this. You can you know, look for, check for spelling, grammar, structure, the coherence of it. Does it link? Does it, can it just the essay? No. Is it making sense? Is it of academic level? And you reference to two, three different authors, and is the information relevant and current? Current information, 10 years back, not more than that. Okay. Um, yes. Then the second introduction is position of the of the writer based on the question and your own information. Good. I'm glad you speak about that. Okay. What about the second introduction? Here on the second introduction, now it's about uh, the elements. Yes, identifying the points yeah. in the order that you are going to discuss them in the main part of the So it is, and you are not, you are not mentioning all the points. It is the points that you have decided in this particular question to address. Okay, mm -hmm. we can have 20, 30 points, but it is you who decide as an individual out of these 20 points that we've done in class. Ten, I've tried in all lectures to give at least more than 10 to 15 points. Out of the 10 points that we've done in class, 15, 20 points we've done in class. These five, up to eight, are the ones that I'm going to talk about. Okay? Because I have knowledge on them. Okay? Don't discuss topics, don't discuss points that you have no idea about. It's about passing, it's about getting the, the marks. So put your best foot forward. When you're in the exam. Okay. Yes. Okay. So you mention the points that you are going to write in the essay. In the order that you are going to mention in the body. Is it very clear? Because I've noted that students have problems with, with this particular point. You, you mentioned maybe line as your first point, line, uh, color, these are elements of art. And then when you are now in the main one, you are starting with the last point you have mentioned in your introduction. It should be in the order that you have mentioned in your introduction. Okay? Mm -hmm. I'm saying, yes. Okay, so, main body. Let's go to the main body. So, what the hell about? So, well done. So, main body. Main body. What did you include in each paragraph? Mm -hmm. What did we say you include in each paragraph? What sort of things are supposed to be? Every paragraph. First of all, we said you identify that you have written about eight paragraphs. You can have five paragraphs, five points, five paragraphs. Eight points. If there are eight paragraphs, that means you have covered what? Eight points. If there are five paragraphs, I'm assuming that the points are five. Minimum five points. Okay? Maximum eight. Okay? It does not matter that eight. Ten is too much. It doesn't matter whether it's a master's level or whether it's an undergraduate level, it's a bonus. It is that. The 
marks are, you will always get 25, 25 marks, 20 marks, even if it's 50, if it's 50, then maybe 10, but not more than that. Don't go over 10 points in the test. Okay? Because each point needs to be detailed, very comprehensively addressed as well. You also said in the other example. But I want you to put it in point form. Put first paragraph, first point paragraph. So she has written first point paragraph. And then put A, B, C, D. One, two, three, four, five. These are the things I'm going to mention in this paragraph. Are you understanding? Are you understanding? So in your first paragraph, in your first point paragraph. Okay, yeah, that's why I can tell you that. I want, this, I want this to be very, very, very specific. Okay? Very clear. And how it's supposed to be. So that you can use it even for years to come. And uh, it's not only just for my, my lecture, but uh, the lectures are for a different style, you can, you can use these styles. But in my particular lesson, and in my particular Lecture, let's use this, okay? And in any way, in any lecture where the lecture is not specified, okay? So it's a first, we call it a first point paragraph, okay? What should you include, okay? First, it's an A, okay? So this is what I'm telling you, this is what should be in the whole paragraph, the first paragraph. Remember the paragraphs are huh? first paragraph, second point paragraph, each point should be in its own paragraph. So we are talking of how the paragraphs should be laid out. Are you understanding? Mm -hmm. Yes. Third point paragraph is there in, in its own, exhausted in, on its own. Okay. And long back when I was studying, I had to learn this also. Long back, you would, you would put two, three points together in one paragraph. It's not working like that anymore. Okay? You would do it this way. So I had to change the way I did it also. So knowledge changes, information changes. We have to move with it with other times. Okay? Okay, so in each paragraph, this applies to every paragraph. The only difference will be the what? The points. I you understand? It's the trick. The layout is the same in each paragraph. The difference is the point. Okay? First of all, that's your A. Identify the point. The first line should be able to tell us which point you are discussing. Make reference from the introduction. So identify the point to be addressed. Okay. From the first point in the introduction. Are you understanding? You've understood. Okay. So line. Okay. What are the elements of attitude? Okay. Lines are found in different, um, in, in different maybe sizes or different uh, directions. You've got parallel lines, vertical lines, horizontal lines. Okay? Understood? Yes. All art. Okay? So we've identified the point. Okay? Now, you need to explain this is now an object. Okay? This has to be there. You can't write a paragraph without any assumption you're indicating the paragraph. This is compulsory. The others you can pick and choose. I will tell you which ones are compulsory, which ones are difficult. Okay? Explain the point. Explain the point. What is it? I'm going to explain the line is uh, that is continuous uh, okay? from different directions. Okay? Give examples of the point. Still in the same paragraph, okay, give examples of the point. In that paragraph, okay, I've given examples 
we have different lines that artists can draw. Vertical line, which you can even you can even draw it. It's in the inside, you can even draw it. Examples of lines, and then you can draw. Okay, you can say examples of lines in your essay. Examples of, of lines are vertical, you can draw it, horizontal, parallel, okay? Diagonal, okay? So you can draw them, okay? So give the examples of the point. Still in the same paragraph. Do you, do you have an idea of if, if there's any workshop for ECB lecturers today, sir? ECB lecturers? Yeah. Do we have, do we have, a, do we have like, a, like a workshop for lecturers? No, I don't, I don't know where you are. Okay, I will ask. <laughs> okay. So you give examples of the point, okay? And then you now give other researchers what other researchers think of, it, of the point you are discussing? If other researchers, professionals, okay? View of the point, of the point that you have mentioned. Give other researchers and professional view of the point, okay? And then your opinion of the point. Okay? And then summary of the point. Still in the same paragraph, guys, okay? Clear? Conclusion. Um, again, here I think we did take three to uh, three to five lines. I don't think we're finished. Okay, three to five lines. Okay. So have you understood? So again, we're on the point of lines. Okay, what are the researchers? Okay, lines are the fundamentals, the basics of art. Okay, um, where they originated from. Uh, and then saying, then you how to make reference to ECD. These are the lines that most learners are able to, to start off with, okay? Okay, but we know that scribbling, okay? Although it's not a line, then you can mention this, okay? Learners who start off with ECD learners who start off with scribbling. So it's not a proper line. But we know that it's a line every one of you, okay? So there are various types of lines, okay? And also it's debated, what is the world? Worlds, are they lines? One can argue that it's the shape of a, of a line. But although it is curved. So you can then talk about the broad definition of lines and the vast uh, uh, differences that you get of, of, of the lines, okay? Um, then your own opinion of it, okay? So what do you think about uh, lines being an element? And you agree that art is based on lines because anything that you draw is going to have some line. 
Okay? Although you can say there's a debate between lines, there's a very close connection between lines and shapes. Okay? Because shapes is another element of art. Okay? But you can argue that lines are, come, are originating from, shapes are originating from lines. That's a line, diagonal, a diagonal line, and a horizontal line to make a to, to make a triangle. And this one, what type of line is it? Okay? Then maybe you might talk about the, um, the circle being a unique different line. Okay? Somebody of the point you already that's okay. We've talked of different lines and different lines with a little vertical lines. And um, and the, the importance of teaching the lines to, to, to ECD and this is that lines form the basis of art. There is no drawing, most drawings are based on lines. Okay. Second point, we are now talking about shape or color. Okay, you do the same thing shape, okay? Another element of art is shape. <laughs> or secondly, the second element of art is shape, okay? You can start off with paragraphs, you know how to connect paragraphs. Firstly, secondly, thirdly, fifthly, okay? okay? Or you can say another. Are you understand? We're trying to join the paragraphs together. Are you understanding? Connect it. Ah, yeah. I find this semester to give students were, uh, words to use for essay. So I think before you do, your, you do your essay writing, I'm going to give you the words. Words that are used to join paragraphs and then start. I compiled the word to put together. Before you do the essay, please tell me. How can I let you know? Second point, third point, you need one paragraph right up to the eighth point. Okay? Understood. Conclusion. It's got first and second part with the conclusions. Okay? Tell me when it's time up. We've got first part from uh, first part from the end. The okay, first part is the summary of summary of three to four points discussed already in the main body. Okay, so summary of three to four points. Discussed already in the main point. You are not picking any. So it is any, summary of any. Okay? It's not the first three you have discussed. It's the one that stands out for you. Okay? The ones that are unique. Okay? Or important to you. Okay. Understood? Okay? Second part is now your opinion of the whole essay. Your opinion of the essay, okay? Your opinion of the whole essay. And then that's it. You understood? Understood? Yes. Any questions on the box essay plan? I'm happy that you still remember. So, just before you write your essay, and uh, this is what I, I wanted you to know. Okay, you've written your question number, your question number, summary of your points or elements, summary of your question, elements of art, and the map allocation there to guide you on how much to write. And then you plan, you should have a plan that you have three, four, five. Okay, this is, this is if you plan it, even when you don't finish the, the question, you can still pass. Okay? I've had students who, who did not finish the essay, but who were able to plan and see the points were there. They were still able to pass. Okay? It's not about finishing the exam all the time. Okay? 
But in some in some exams, if you answer four in this and you do do so well on the fifth one, we really left out the fifth question quite fair. But someone can still pass with just four. Do you know that? It depends on how well they, they wrote the other four. Because out of 20, let's say, for example, someone gets 17, 15, uh, 15, and 17. If you add it up, is it, does it not lead to a pass? Does it not lead to a pass? Yes. <laughs> it actually leads to a pass. It actually leads to a better pass than someone who's written the five essays. Do you, do you get it? Yes. So, what I'm simply saying is, start off with your best essay. Are you understanding? With the one that you think you get the highest mark, okay? Even when you, even when you don't have enough time at the end, okay? You can still be able to pass. I know of one student who got an A without finishing the exam. It's just that what she started and wrote, it was distinction. Although she didn't finish the exam. So many students are like, you say, some of them ended up, I know one or two students who killed themselves, who committed suicide, thinking that they failed. But when the results came, they did an A. Because I think they missed two or three questions. And they're going asking, uh, discussing with students, with other students. They said, oh, well, we left out two questions, three questions. They got it, and then they went and killed them. So when the results came, they still had an A. So it's not about, <laughs> it's simply not about, it's managing your time. Yes, you need to, to, to learn how to manage your time in exam. But start off with your best to, with your best essay, your second best, your third best, your fourth best, and your fifth best. Do you understand? Yeah. I've just shown you here. Four questions, they still got 16. Okay? Yeah. Yes. And you also need to work out out of the five questions, for me to get 50%, what do I need? Okay? I need to make sure that each question I get 10 out of 20. Are you understanding? Or if I don't know the question, I need to make sure that the lowest mark I can get is probably a, what, a 7 or even a 5 out of 20. Then that means if you get a 5 out of 20, you've got, you've got what? 5 marks missing. That's the five marks you can give them from another essay that you can get 12 day, 13 day, 14 day, 15 to make it 50%. Are you, are you understanding? So the lowest you should aim to get for any question should not be less than five. Five out of 20. Okay? Clear? Any questions on this? Yes. Exams is about knowing the technique. It's not about being clever. <laughs> it's just knowing the exam technique. Okay? Yes. I know most people get A's for exams, distinctions, but asked to repeat the course module, they have no idea of it. So we're just able to master the technique of writing the exam. But if you do both, you should be an expert in your field. Okay? So don't just read to pass the exams, read so that you apply the knowledge that you are reading. And it's current. So when you make reference, also make reference, uh, give two or three books, just the name of the author and the year. And the book should not be 10 years old. Okay? Just to show that you have read widely in your assignment and also in your uh, Um, make sure in your own assignments and stuff, okay? Any questions? Okay. Now let's look at uh, questions that might be asked and how to get answered. Okay, uh, this is uh, just comprises of half the course. Um, outline. For this particular course model, we have five minutes and we're supposed to cover two and a half. Okay? Or even two minutes, uh, fine. So we haven't done a lot of performing arts. But performing arts 
and the experimental arts. These are it's now practical. Okay, and I decided to do it differently this year because what I was doing before I would do the theory and then was not enough time to do the practical. But what I've decided, I decided to do it differently to include the theory with the practical. The theory then the practical. So you're going to find that with performance of arts, it's going to be covered. Um, performance of art, um, it's more practical, don't care about that. It should be covered in the end of the semester. Exactly. Okay? Mm -hmm. Unit 3, what I'm still saying is Unit 3, Unit 4, Unit 5, it's practical. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. So, what I, I discovered was that there was not enough time when I taught this module last year that most of the learners went off without knowing the practical demonstration of how to do the art. Okay? So, I wanted to concentrate on it. Okay? Um, the, the, the theory of performing arts, it's fine, we will do it. So we are concentrating more on unit one and unit two for the exam. Okay? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure whether I asked anything on drama, but uh, I think there's a lesson plan on art uh, on to craft lesson. Have we done a lesson plan with you? Yeah. Have I done a lesson plan with you? Uh, in this particular module or in another module? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is pass. We will come and do a lesson plan for this. And then we're also going to look at objectives in art. What are we teaching for art? Okay? For me, I'm going to look at the learning objectives in art. Okay? Was the lesson plan we also need to, um, to, to understand what is it that you're teaching in art. Okay? Learning objectives, okay, for art. This is art and craft. And then for the exam, we just need to do two or three learning objectives. Please don't do more than four. In fact, don't do just two or three. Not four. Not one. Not one. One cannot be there because it, if it does not work out, um, then that lesson is a flop or that lesson is a failure. Okay? So um, let me just talk about what sort of things you can do, uh, or any objectives you can have for art and craft, okay? By the end of the lesson, we did say that well, before you do your learning objectives, there's a statement that needs to be there. So by the end of the lesson, By the end of the lesson, by the end of the lesson, the learners okay, should be able to, okay? Okay, color a tree or color uh, a, a, a given uh, picture, color a, a given picture, color a given picture, should be able to trace, okay, trace a given object, okay, should be able to draw, okay, then you decide what type, blue life, or should be able to, to draw a portrait, should be able to draw a portrait of themselves, or of their family, okay? Family, you indicate what it is that you want to do, okay? What are they able to do? They should be able to um, paint. What do you want them to paint? Okay, they should be able to design, they should be able to construct, they should be able to model, okay, what is it that you want them to model, okay, is it, is it clear, okay, they should be able to so construct, model, uh, they should be able, what else, take photos, okay, photograph, 
outdoor activities. Okay. What are the things do we have? Cartoons, uh, uh, design, origami. Okay. Clay modeling, modeling of clay, sculpting if it's there. Now it depends what level of students there, what age. Okay. Um, draw cartoons. Draw cartoons. Okay, is it clear? Draw cartoons, um, illustrations, do a design a, a book cover, a book cover illustration. Create a Christmas card, gift card. Okay, these are some of the things that they can do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and four, fifteen. I don't think that's I don't think that's too much. I want to be quite um quite a lot. Eight um okay, print making, print print a design on a cloth. Even print a picture. Do you know that from a printing machine? It's part of art, okay? Paper craft, making paper craft. Off, you just said off, um, of an airplane or anything, okay? Pattern making, making patterns. Okay, In different colors. Uh, weaving, weave a basket. Okay, puppetry, ornament making is making this is good, making ornaments like beads. Okay. Ornaments, so it could be bracelets, be, uh, necklaces. This is a good one, okay? Carving, that's sculpting, but they can uh, carve a knife out of wood, carve a knife, okay? Carve a knife out of wood, out of plastic, wood, plastic. Okay, ETC, any material. Okay, construction, we've talked about pottery making, make pottery, pottery clay, out of make pottery, out of clay. Okay, um, collage, we've said collage, okay. The picture. The family history. The family history, okay. Model ornament, okay. Ornaments. Ornaments. Okay. So in the uh, oh and then discuss. And so you need to also discuss uh the painting, okay, or the activity, okay, discuss the drawing, it's also part of, because they need to describe, critique the drawing, okay, discuss the, the drawing, discuss the drawing, um, they need to uh, narrate, okay, retell, narrate the, narrate a story out of the drawing, or come up with a story, narrate a story out of the drawing, can you tell the story out of the drawing? 
um, turn the story out of the boy. Oh, before, before, okay, before the story, role play the drawing. Discuss. Debate or describe the drawing. Describe the drawing. Okay, describe the drawing. Okay, describe the drawing. Okay, or they should evaluate the drawing. Share the drawing or comment on other people's drawing. Other learners' drawing. Drawing. When I say drawing, it would be drawing, painting, anything or photography. Okay? Take photos. So comment. This is now the part where they are talking about the drawing. It should be part of. This is the practical part of doing the art. This is now the discussion of the art. Are you understand? It has to be done both ways. Okay? Critique. Critique their own art or other people's art. Okay? Is it clear? Comment on other learners' art. It could be drawing, painting. I think this is general. Okay? Evaluate the art. It can be drawing photo do you understand despite the drawing or despite the art okay then you can know, painting as them to discuss the painting the drawing do you understand there should be some feedback what did you draw how did you feel about the draw okay um state their feelings feelings okay then you should also discussion opinions of the drawing state feelings on the art. Display the art. It's also, you're trying to teach, like, last time we're trying to teach how to do the displaying and stuff. Display art. They should be able to display their own art. View displays of other learners' art. Okay? View own art or others. Okay? Is it clear? So, describe, evaluate, um, those are the different aspects which are needed in the art. When you do an art, you describe it, you evaluate it, you, uh, and also, not saying the, okay, by the end of the day, the learner should be able to discuss this. Yes. yes. So, they've drawn it, they can either discuss, then draw. Or you can draw, then you can ask them to discuss. Or even sharing, sharing, they can share, share the art. Okay, so let me just brief, brief, remind you what you write. And listen. The objective is you write the word learning objective, and then you write that statement by the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to. You pick which one you want. Maybe you are doing both, right? So maybe under drawing, they, you want them to draw a portrait. Or family, or anything, maybe a tree, okay? You want them to draw. After they draw, what do you want them to do? Maybe you want them to what? To hire it, okay? That's another objective, can you see? It's a second objective. Then after they gather, maybe you want them to discuss the drawing. Or to share the art. Or to display the art. Are you understanding? Or to comment on the art. Are you understanding? Yes. Then next time, that's the drawing part. Maybe you want to do a painting activity. Okay? What do you want them to paint? Okay? Or maybe photograph. Okay? Maybe you want them to photograph how do. Okay? You have done drawing. Now you want something that is from nothing to do with painting, hand, uh, hand eye coordination. Is it clear? So let me photograph. Okay? So photograph outdoors. That's your next lesson. Okay? That one was uh, objectives for for, uh, for a first lesson. Okay? Second lesson, let me photograph. 
So you wanted to go outside the way indoors. This is not creativity. This is not innovation. Okay? Photograph outdoors. So they're taking the cameras or the photo or the phones, and then you're asking the, uh, them to go outside and go and take photos of your favorite place outside. Okay, they take they one photo of uh, uh, a shrub or a tree or flowers or the pavement or the soil or the sand or buildings. It could be architecture. Go and take photos of the different buildings that are within our school. And then when they when they show the buildings, they say, oh, but you didn't, you didn't do it well when you don't see the whole building, you see the top, different angles and stuff like that. You need ways that they have taken the photos, okay? So let's say it's a photograph session. Photograph outdoor activities, okay? What you could also do is when they're photographed, you might want them to print out the photos. Is it clear? If, if that school has got a printer, they can print them. It's not saying print a picture, they print a photo, okay? And then they would color the photo. They print it in black and white and then they color. Are you understanding? Or they can make a collage out of it. Or even uh, make something. Let's say, for example, they go out and they've taken photos of the building. Then you can come in and ask them to model. Can you construct a house that you have taken? So, do an a, a origami. Are you understanding? Let's say, for example, they took pictures of photos of flowers. Then they can come back and do an origami of the flower that they take that they took photos of. Are you understanding? So you can incorporate different types of uh, of art, visual art, okay? Or you can decide to just focus on photograph the whole lesson. Understand? You've understood, okay? So you're choosing only two or three, okay? Or if drawing is too broad, you can do maybe two, three lessons of drawing. Then you're done with drawing. Then you move on to photograph. Then you move on to painting. But you are you are doing them depending. Uh, Subject to the type of resource materials you have. But I don't want it to be like that. I would really want you to be very creative. Even if you don't have cameras, I've done it in the village. Honestly, I've done it in the village. Where I went to the camera with, with my phone and took the phones from other, uh, from other teachers. And we went around, they were going around taking photos and stuff like that. And we were describing the shots. Oh, it was there on the flats. And I still remember um, South African teachers who were complaining about it and saying, look, some of the, the curriculum, the South African curriculum is not relevant to the students. So when we had the teachers uh, uh, meeting with like, the whole province, I was saying, look, I have done it. It's very possible you can, you can do it. And it's, a, it's an opportunity to expose learners who don't have a phone, don't have a camera. I used to have a camera. I, I, Brought the camera in, was able to use the camera. Okay? So it is very possible. You can be the resource. Okay? You know, regardless of the background, the setting of the street. Okay? So you can do that, and it is very possible. So these are the learning objectives. They should be there. Now, can you come and do the lesson template? I know I did this previously. With your previous, with the previous, sem uh, previous semester, but uh, let's do it as a recap, yeah, because I think one of the questions might be design uh, an art, a drawing or art or something, okay? Um, design a lesson plan for three year olds, six year olds, okay? Okay? So, can you come and uh, do the lesson plan template? Yeah, revision is interactive. Side is <laughs> so we need to be engaged in it because after all, you have to write the exam. So please come in and do a lesson plan. And then when you get lost, I will just be directing you and leading you to how you're supposed to write it. But it should be under, it should have a lesson, lesson plan template. Okay? And what you do is you can do some of the stuff that I do. So that's the practical thing that we've done, visual art. So 
So coloring animals, vegetables, you can do that. Using beetroots, uh, food coloring, you can do that. You can rub it with the artificial light.
Nic bych na můj no a prostě No a prostě No a prostě And try to write clearly in the exam because I also have difficulties with reading the students' handwriting. Right? <laughs> so be very write a lot of writing. Even myself, up to this age, when I write exams, I change my handwriting. I don't use my normal handwriting right. because I know that it is very difficult for people to read my handwriting. So I change my handwriting. I think under the same time we've left a lot of information, personal information is in there. The date of the lesson plan. Yeah, I think that I will add in some <coughs> So let me wait until you finish that. <laughs> and yeah, good write that too. And yes. We've corrected it. <laughs> Can you help us or something? It's revision. So don't don't feel it's revision because we're helping each other. Like, because it's better to get it wrong now rather than getting it wrong in the exam. Do you get what I'm saying? What is really important is that. And you remember it more because we are practicing with your diet.
Yeah, because some, for, for you to do a master's, let me tell you something. For you to do a master's, there are some universities that want you to have at least some distinctions. With a third class, sometimes it's very difficult to do, to, to do a master's. You might just get in because the, the, the university wants money. They want, they want to buy students' fees. But you need to make sure that you put an upper second class in order for you to be a master's. I, either the first class, um, an upper second class. Very few universities will allow you to do uh, a master's with the third class. So you need to make sure that you, you are getting good grades for your, for your, uh, for your undergraduate. Even with a PhD, they are very, they will look at your master's grades and see what, what you've got. So try at least make sure that you at least you've got about five distinctions and two out of the course. It's very possible. Make sure that every course, every semester, you've got a distinction. At least on one. How many courses are you doing on an average every semester? So make sure at least two of the courses you got a distinction. Then when you put it on your CV, out of the courses you do, ten courses you've got four, four distinctions. That's what you highlight on your CV. Okay? Four times three, you've got four distinctions. So when you look at your achievements, four distinctions in, in, in a three-year course or something like that, you highlight those. Okay, it's about on a CV now, it's about quantifying what you see that you have done. Then just writing a word distinction. If you say four distinctions, someone is going to embrace uh, it's going to attract attention. Just normally saying I've got it up as a class, but in which course is not. Okay. CVs is about quantifying what is it that you have, what you have, the percentage for.
Can you please have a break and fill in any aspect that you might have left out or any correction that might be needed to be done? Come on, Miss. Come on. Okay. Um, there should be personal information about the, the teacher, the school. Yes. School date, teacher, teacher's name, so name of teacher, because you need to know who, who is teaching this person. Teach yourself, okay? Miss mm -hmm. Art from Dira. Uh, I'm the one who was. <laughs> well, I'm correcting you now. Uh, yes, but I would say Miss Art, Miss C. It's fine anyway. It's okay, and then. Um, Problems here, you say special needs, uh, special needs for uh, consideration. Special needs for consideration. Consideration. Okay? Special needs for consideration. You say some things that I need for, okay, we look at it, but there's certain things that you have left out. Subject here, yeah? which is art and craft. 
then I need to move this a bit. Um, then there is also uh, size of class, size of uh, number of students in the class. So number of students. Okay, in the 35, 60. Okay, and then the subtopic for art. Okay, because art that's the subject. What are we doing? What have you decided to do with your letters? Is it painting? Is it drawing? What, is it? what are you doing? Drawing. Drawing. So the subtopic would be drawing. Okay, and then uh, time of the lesson. Okay, what time have you decided to do this lesson? Eight to eight to. <laughs> it's supposed to be 35 minutes to 45 minutes maximum. 8 to 9. Hmm? Huh? 8 to 9. 8 to 9. It can either be 35 minutes, 35 minutes, 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Or 45 minutes as the maximum for ECD and private school. Mm -hmm. So, how many hours are you planning to have your How many minutes are you planning to have your uh, lesson? 35. 35. So, 0, 8 to 8. 35. Okay? Mm -hmm. Any anything else? Time, subtopic, um, classroom sometimes. And grade. Classroom. That's the classroom one. Is it classroom? Room one or room three or room two or art class or class or art class. Some schools have an art room. Okay, that's separate from the normal classes. Some of some schools don't have you have you do your art in the same class. And um, this classroom, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I've left out. Okay. Age, sometimes the class, if it's standard one, standard two, but I think that's everything there. Then special needs consideration, some learners have visual problem. What is it that they have? Is it uh, moderate, is it partial blindness, is it severe blindness, is it, uh, what, what is it? Partially blind or the, are they severely blind or what is it? Yeah, partial. Okay. And are they long-sighted, short-sighted, so have to be specific. Okay, this is good. Okay. Oh, and one learner cannot walk on the own. Okay, so it's different. Yes, so you have to get it. So you have to then move all the things up. And then they should be learning aids taken from the national curriculum before you do the objectives. You should write them as learning objectives, not, not just objectives. Sometimes they call them criteria. Uh, so learning aids are derived from the national curriculum. What does the national curriculum say? From the from the syllabus, okay? Maybe appreciate art, okay? It's usually just a general one. Just put one and two, okay? If then one, appreciate drawing or appreciate art and its different forms. Okay, then learn the objective. At the end of the lesson, then I should be able to draw a cycle of different sides. Draw a cycle, what do you mean cycle? Huh? What, what is cycle? I might say, oh, oh circle. Mm -hmm. The circle of different sizes, okay? Color the circles. Share the drawings, okay? Good. So draw, it has to be action, 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 okay? Draw that, okay? And you number them. One, two, so you three, three. Yes, even the dots is fine, okay? Then these are what? Um, health and safety. We forgot to put health and safety. Health and safety measures. That's another subtopic we forgot. These ones you should call them is teacher learner activities. Okay? Lesson activities. Okay? What's that? Lesson, lesson activities. Okay. Okay. Health and safety measures. Okay. 
health and safety measures, um, what are you going to be aware of, what are you going to take care of, what are you going to prevent learners from, uh, uh, from preventing from having an accident. Maybe you can have, since there's someone on a wheelchair, uh, small table, okay? Um, removal of sharp objects. Removal. Okay? Anything else? Small, uh, small table. Okay, removal of sharp objects. Um, non-toxic, if they're going to color, non-toxic crayons, okay, and no small objects, okay, so that they don't swallow in their mouth, okay. Teacher activity, you can't just write teacher, so teacher activity, the word teacher activity, learner activity, Okay, draw three circles. Those three circles are different sizes on the chalkboard. Uh, spellings. Then, what do the learners do? Who's drawing them? Learners draw. So, the teacher draws. Okay, what are the learners doing while the teacher's doing? Doing the same thing. No, they. They were just saying since it's just the beginning of the lesson, so the teacher draw, then that's when you get the invite the learners. So what are the while the teacher is drawing? Yeah, you can what are the letters doing? What are the board and papers to draw? Seeing the teacher drawing on the board. And the learners are seeing the teacher drawing. So learners see the Leave the learners observe. Okay? The teacher drawing. Okay? Because you cannot have anything here. You need to communicate what it is. Learners, learners observe the teacher drawing circles. Okay? Okay. Is it clear? Yeah. And then to, uh, teacher, I'll try to put the word teacher there. Teacher divides the learners into groups. Okay? Of two and ask them to draw circles just as 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 been done, as drawn. Okay, just as as drawn on the board. Okay, get into groups of so learners. Okay, getting into groups of two. Learners get into into groups of two. Okay. Learners get into groups of two, and what do they do? They draw. And draw circles. Okay. From the board. Okay, teacher activity. You need to indicate that it's an activity that is done by the, uh, the learner. The learner activity. So move around. So move, okay. Teacher moves around the class to see how best the learners are doing the work. Yes. Um, what, what are the learners doing? Learners are showing the teacher the work. Show teacher. So learners show teachers okay, their work. Okay? okay. Work with the students with visual problems, especially so that they can also be able to work, especially. Okay? And then, um, special needs learners, special needs learners, 
show so last show teacher especially the learner show teacher their work okay ask the learners to show their work by lifting hands lift by lifting hands while holding the while holding the paper of the three learners showing the drawings okay and talk about the drawings okay and talk about talk about the drawings okay and then there should be a conclusion oh the other thing we forgot on the time they should be on the time table on the activity they should be time also Okay, how many minutes they're doing this? Okay, time and also they should be time duration and also the structure. Is it an introduction? Is it is it the main body? What is it? Okay. So time on each activity. How many minutes? Draw a circle of of on the board. Maybe it takes one minute for the teacher, but in total it should be. 35 minutes to come up with uh, 35 minutes. Time and then the structure of the lesson. Structure of the lesson. Okay? So we have to have great reduction. This I think I need to do it here. Let me give you an example here. Okay, I'll give you an example. So the structure of lesson and then I will I will I will show you, okay? Yes, time, minutes or duration, okay? So if you say 08 zero to zero 08 zero 05, like that, okay? It's five minutes, okay? So 08 zero 00 zero 08 10. So you can either put it like this, okay? Five minutes, okay? You can give this as an option, okay? Or you can put it as 10 minutes like this, okay? Like that. Okay? You indicate whether it's one minute, five minutes, okay? Like that. Okay. Learners, I will explain this again. Structure of the lesson is it the introduction? Is it a main body? What it is? Okay. So, introduction, this is maybe still introduction. Maybe introduction. Maybe it's the first part. This is the second part of the introduction. Okay, maybe this is one minute. Okay. And then the time here also. It's not the time here. Okay. Like that. Okay. Time. Okay. Structure, introduction, conclusion, and stuff. Okay. Learners were able to draw circles. Is this the evaluation? Yeah. So learners were able to draw circles. Yes, they evaluating. But the other thing that you need to remember before the evaluation, also look at the homework. What homework are you going to do? Homework and extension of work. Okay? Mm -hmm. And also extension of work. So homework, maybe you can ask them to go and draw, maybe take a photo of different shapes in the at home, take photos or draw objects with different shapes at home. Okay, draw objects of different, draw objects with different circles, okay? Draw objects that are circles, okay? Found in the kitchen at home, okay? Extension, maybe they, they could, um, what, what, what could be an extension? They could paint. Or the extension could be they could draw, a, the extension could be draw a human face. Because it's, it's got circles in it, draw a human face. Okay, 
And in my evaluation, I wrote to him and I wrote to him and I different studies, including those with very good programming and the one who has to tell me. In the next lesson, I will teach the learners how to draw. Yes, so that should be another head next lesson. Yes, so it's good. So drawing a tree. Yes. And then here, we're able to. How many? Most learners. Is it 75 percent? Or oh, out of the class, if they are 30, out of 20, 35, we're able to draw. Okay? Or you can use the word most. So you can decide to use the word most or percentage or that. Okay? Most learners are able to draw circles of different sizes, including those with, with uh, visual uh, problems and one kind of difficulty. And then you can name the, the learners who did well. Okay? So, Nashima, Queen, and Patrick were able to draw circles, okay, despite despite having visual difficulties, despite, despite having despite having visual difficulties, okay? And then the ones who had difficulties, a few, how many 25%? Was it 10% were the problem? So you can put a number to it. Are you understanding? Okay. I wanted to lay out this one properly. No. Oh, okay, you can it should be time first, then the structure. Then the teacher's activities and the learner's activities. Okay? Yes. So you can do it that way or you can do it in minutes. But it should work out that the total should work out to what? 35 minutes. Are you understand? Yes. Any any questions? And when it's time, please let me know. So it's Okay. So yeah, wishing you the, the best for the exams next week for the mid-semester exam. I thought this is part of the young yes, so um, as some of the areas that you need to focus on, on in terms of the exam would be uh, what is art education, what is education in art, the concepts in art. So you can do it from any, it's a broad question. You can look at the background of art, you can look at different art forms, you can look at the different art, you can look at the use of art in, in schools, that's broad. Then the challenges of, 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 of art and craft in schools. Um, also the lesson plan we have done and then also looking at examples of visual art okay um, then I think I can't remember what else uh, what was there but we did drawing the different types of drawing that is there and then you actually bring a new one and draw and, and the drawing okay bring in three different types of media dry so green pencils ink paint paints if you can or even leaves and then you can bring it yeah, you bring it in the exam and then you use it. Yes. You have to draw one 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 uh, one art piece. And I think it says use three or different media. Okay? We are drawing two different art work for, for, for 20 marks. I can't remember how, how I started the question. Okay? And then um, and then the importance of art and then the development of art. The, the importance of art will be developed or the aspects of development of art. What aspects are developed in art? Yes, like that. But just read it based on what we've done. I have not asked questions on what we have not done. Mm -hmm. So you're saying that in English, the concept of population in arts, it's almost the same thing. I can't remember, I can't remember how I worded it, but it's still the same. It's broad, you look at it from different perspectives. Critiquing of art, describing art, how do you describe art? Challenges of what? Sorry, challenges of teaching art. Okay? Yeah. Understood. Any questions? Examples of video art, different types of drawing. And then I think I did, I asked maybe what, what, uh, what resources and uh, materials can you use in art? Uh, yes. Or what are dry and wet media? I can't remember. So then don't, don't okay. So I would just take one step. But is it clear? Yeah, okay. Then um, so next week there will be no lectures. I'll come back and collect them. We meet we meet on the first March. Hmm. I did after the mid semester.